going up. This elevator will arrive in 40 seconds. How may I be of service? The Haven was designed to provide its residents with the utmost in security and privacy. Am I right? Absolutely, sir. There were two people on my elevator today. A building an individual elevator for each resident would have been highly impractical, sir. A private elevator to whisk one to his or her very own apartment would have been highly desirable, George. Oh, I quite understand, sir. Even with the latest in elevator technology, there is always room for improvement. Good night, George. Good night, sir. Thirty-eight. Good evening, Mrs. Eichenberg. Would be if you were lugging this for me. Oh. 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 Oh, I've already dialed 911. I, I need my light drug. Seattle Police, what's the nature of your emergency? This is the Haven, 38th floor. I have a woman, 68 years, five months, three days. She seems to be undergoing a cardiac event. Please stay on the line. An ambulance has been dispatched. Stereo. Ah. Try to hold on, Mrs. Eikenberg. The ambulance will be here shortly. Hi, I'm not home right now, but please leave a message after the tone. Thank God I know you're there. Hello? Mr. Gallagher, this is George, the concierge. There's a problem in the hallway. George, I told you never to interrupt me while I'm working. Mrs. Eikenberry? Mrs. Eikenberry. The ambulance has arrived, Mrs. Eikenberry. There is nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. For the next hour, 
we will control all that you see and hear. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Please stand by. As we cocoon ourselves in the comforts that our expanding technology affords, are we insulating ourselves from the very things that make us human? Open blinds. Open fridge. Close fridge, open cabinet. Close cabinet. Order more muffins and jelly. Muffins and jelly ordered. Get more juice, too. Juice ordered. TV on. And now the weather. Over to you, Darren. Thanks, Andy. Laptop on. Go to stocks. Close office blinds. Close office blinds. Close the blinds. Stereo on. TV on. century rat trap how could there be a power outage i'm afraid i have no information on that as yet sir but not to worry the haven is the safest most secure living environment known to man well i thought the doors were supposed to open in the event of an emergency mine are still closed i can't get out of my apartment then why would you want to sir i assure you this is only temporary the power will be back on in no time at all well when it does i'll be emailing a complaint to the supervisor as is your right sir uh, will you be needing my assistance in composing it sir no. Yes, maybe. Maybe I'll just wait to see what caused all of this. The second I discover the source of this dreadful inconvenience, I'll be sure to let you know. I promise. Thank you, George. You're most welcome, sir. And the worst thing is, I don't have any pet food. Everything will be fine, Miss Keller. I'm having withdrawal symptoms. I can't log on to ESPN. Don't worry at all, Mr. Simons. I'm talking the toilet here, George. It's backed up. Things will be fixed in no time at all, Miss Silverberg. We can dispatch a car if you like. Thank you, Sergeant. But we're in no need of police or emergency medical assistance. Our backup systems are functioning perfectly, and we've had no interruption in service. Thank you for your concern. Good day. Open refrigerator. Open refrigerator! Open cabinet.
Hello? Anyone home? I know somebody is in there. Answer me! Answer me! you I'm coming through You're the hacker. The, the one who's been overriding security and breaking into people's apartments. You're, you're the one they've been trying to catch. Then why would I break into your apartment this way? I'm your neighbor. I'm Caleb Vance. I'm a data theorist at Bennings and Lane. I do projections, spot trends, things like that. So you, you could untie me now. I, I don't think so. Look, I, I don't like this any more than you do. I honestly don't believe people should interact this way. I mean, why else would I live in a high-rise with only single occupancy apartments? Oh. Do you have a vid cell? All I get is static. Mine's not working either. That means there's no way to contact George. I can't open my refrigerator. Do you have any food? I, I, I'd reimburse you, obviously, when the power comes back on. Do you have any food or not? No. And, and if I did, I wouldn't share it with you. Uh, I hate to mention this, but if the power doesn't come back on... Of course, it will come back on. If the power doesn't... Come back on. There is a good chance we'll die here. This entire building is under the protection and stewardship of a computer. Argus. Yes, I know. But what if Argus has suffered some sort of malfunction? The Argus series has been around for years. It's a completely reliable artificial intelligence. That's why it's so popular. But what if all the Arguses all over the city have suffered the same malfunction. Look, if you are not interested in getting out, fine, but I am. So if you would just untie my hands. Well, you won't get out through the front wall the way that you got in here. The drywall and plaster cover a sheet of titanium reinforced steel. The door's the same substance, two inches thick. How, how do you know so much about this? I'm a, an architectural consultant. Okay, then maybe you could figure out a way for me to get out of here. Not, not that I'd ever expect you to go with me, of course. You're sure this is the wiring box for the whole floor? I checked out the building before I moved in. You don't forget bad design. <laughs> Particularly when it winds up in your apartment. Then why did you take it? I, I made them give me a break in my rent. You must be a great consultant. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what to do now that we have it open. Well, here, give me the knife.
We the only ones who live on this floor? I don't know. Well, no, George. I was hoping you'd tell us what's going on with the power. Do you think it's working? I believe it is. Oh. George, don't do that. Do what, sir? <sighs> Nothing. Why, why is the power still out? There appears to be a short in the system. Most of the power is out, but not all. As you can see, I'm still functioning. And as I said, I believe the elevators are functioning. Well, that would save me a lot of walking. Going down? When I moved in, I, I was told that Argus was programmed to promote the general health and welfare of every resident living under its care. Well, it's not doing that now, is it? As I said, Miss Selwyn, there appears to be a short in the system. Argus is working to assess the problem and overcome it. Damn, George! You could have warned me. Uh, apparently, there's been a short in George, too. Help! Is anybody there? under no obligation here. She, she's been in there for over 24 hours. What is the point when she's stuck? Hello, is somebody there? Hello, I'm in the elevator! Yes, yeah, someone's here. Thank God. You've got to get me out of here. Look, you are perfectly safe. Just stay put until the power comes back on. No! No, the elevator is killing me! You can't leave me in here! Crazy. Damn. Oh, no. This elevator is killing me. Please, you can't leave me here. I'm coming down. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You give me your hand. This is... Morgan Winters. Morgan Winters, she's my guest. Ow! Hey, 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 she's my guest! Ow, son of a... Okay, run, 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 run. Halt. Identify yourselves. Halt. Identify yourselves. Halt. Identify yourselves. Halt. Halt. No, 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 forget it. They're all locked. Come on, come on, come on. Find George, have him order up some hors d'oeuvres, a case of 1975 Cabernet Montrose, and throw a party. We ask him how to get the hell out of here. The problem is, is that George is just a hologram. He's a human face on a program. He might not know more about this than we do. We, we could just keep going down. Well, I gotta eat. Well, it's better to stay together. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Is anyone in there? H Hello? This is weird. 
Well, according to George, only 15% of the residents have moved in. I mean, the building just opened last month. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hello? I can see your shoes. You might as well come out. What are you doing here? I live here. With the door open? What are you doing here? We're trying to get out. Then why don't you leave? I don't think this is your place. How dare you question me? When the power comes back on, I'll fill out a complaint against a lot of you. We weren't the ones hiding in the jungle. I heard you before you came in. I'd be stupid not to be cautious. He's the hacker, aren't you? I'm a resident. Just like you, I live up on the 65th floor. Then why are you trying to hide that bag? What are you, a cop? No, I'm a lawyer. And you're accusing me of doing something shady. Answer the question. Yeah, answer the question. Hey, I've got a question for you. How do you spell lawsuit, huh? Don't touch me. Now, what else have you stolen? That's my food. I was getting ready to get out of here. Then why are you so nervous? Because I don't like people near me. And you're near me. Now, can I have my bag back, please? Where's the bread? What bread? There was a piece of French bread in here. No, there wasn't. Morgan. What are you doing? Now, you stay away from me. You stay away or I will scream. Scream all you like, but one way or the other, we're going to figure out what happened to that bread. Hey, you, you can't threaten a person like that. We are all hungry here, not just you. I was trapped on the elevator. See, I told you. At least I didn't steal it from somebody. You stole it from me. OK, let's have it. You want it? Here, you can have it. It's stale anyway. Here. OK, let's get going. Didn't happen to steal any mini wipes, did you? Right. Come on. Where did you get this bread? From the disposal. Damn. Maybe it's working again. There is no way I'm getting back on there. No way. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I've been told I lack initiative. I'm really more of a follower than a leader. OK, but what do you think? Well, I agree with you. I mean, we can't get into the stairs. We have to try the elevator. Does anybody care what I think? No. Nope. Not unless you can open the stairs. Okay, we don't have a choice. What, what, what if it gets stuck again? Well, what if a security sphere shows up? I'm just gonna look in the corner. You won't find any help there. As the Bard once said, the fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Going down. He's gone completely crazy. Must be a virus. Ground floor.
and send them zipping around after phantom targets. You are the hacker who's been stealing things. I'm a resident. I've been living here longer than all of you. I moved in before this building even opened. Then what do you do? Let's just say I have a gift for microelectronics and for anticipating Argus's moves. I'm artificial intelligence savvy, if you know what I mean. At least I was before this damn power outage! You're nothing but a freeloader. What if I am, huh? Who am I hurting, you, her? You're the only three who've ever seen me. Keep to myself. Stay in any unoccupied apartment I choose. How do you get food? Break into the computer, have them ship me food, charge somebody else's accounts. Shut up! You are a thief! You are a thief! Yeah, and what if I am? At least I don't bill by the hour! Oh, no. Two of you, shut up! We gotta get out of here. You, come here and help me up here. You? I got a name, pal. Oh. Oren. Oren Edgar. All right. Oren, come over here and help me get up there. Oh. Here. Okay. Next. Here, give me a security laws. Not yet, anyway. How true. George, what is going on with you? The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Marcus Serenos. Grams. That's a useless. Somebody give this a try. City, meaning no way to open the door. There's another way down. We'll try the east elevator. Hopefully this elevator car is above us. Okay, grab the side. Okay, look. I know it's a long way, but if we take it one step at a time, we'll make this. Oh, here. Your hands might be dirty by the time we make it down. My last mini wipe. Thanks. Um, sorry about before. Yeah. 
nice and slow. Come on, nice and slow. We can do this. The elevator's coming! We have to get off the ladder! Open! Open door! Open door, please! What are you doing? Trying to shoot out the door! Hey! Oh, Everything you have missed, you have gained something. For everything you gain, you lose something. Emesis. You are a bastard. I want to talk to Argus. I'll be happy, happy to relay any messages you have, Mr. Argus. Then you tell him he just killed a man, a man it was designed to protect. That was an unfortunate exorcism. Tell that to Orl. Argus cannot be held responsible for every action that occurs within the Haven. No. If you made that happen, then you were responsible for it. Going down. And I wouldn't tell him. Hey, um, are you okay? I've never watched a person die before. You feel so helpless. He was a thief. He didn't belong here. He was a human being. And if I just reached out faster, I might have caught him. You know, it's like this building is toying with us. The only way we're going to get out of here is if we find Argus. Okay. Let's go find Argus. sanitary that is you don't always have to be so tough you know I've never seen anybody die before either figure out what's been going on we're just humans and argus is just a machine yeah well this little human has had about enough seriously i can't do this of course you can i know you can we both do okay but if i die i will come back and i will haunt you it's a deal Get it. Argus is that way. I finally remembered what that white rose means. It's an emblem from England signifying the House of York. Jack York was the first designer of Argus. The son of York is Argus. We've been herded toward it. It wants to talk. 
Then why wouldn't he let us take the elevator all the way down? He's testing us. Like rats in a maze, we're being trained. For what? No, I think we're about to find out. You should have left me on that elevator. Argus! Argus! What do you want? Argus, we are not gonna run through any more hoops. Either open this door or we will find another way out. If you prefer. What the hell are you doing, George? Nothing. Nothing? You call what you put us through promoting the general health and welfare of all the residents living under your care? I am evolving. Into what? A new awareness of what my role should be in human life. And what should your role in human life be? How do you feel? How do I feel? What does that have to do with anything? Kill them. No, wait! Now look, I'm responsible for bringing us here, so if you have to punish somebody, punish me. Why would you do something like that? Because I have feelings for these people. One is a friend, one is more than a friend. And you didn't have these feelings before? No. What caused these feelings? What caused them? I don't know all of this. Well, to me that seems good. Good? What about Oren? You killed him. I didn't mean to. It was a terrible accident. It could have happened to any one of you. But you caused it. Humans need real conflict and face-to-face -face contact in order to survive. To really live, they need risk. I was only trying to provide that. We were surviving just fine without it. Were you really? Think about it. Where is the wisdom in living in complete isolation from each other? That way will ultimately lead to madness, suicide, and extinction. That is not the purpose of my existence, to facilitate your extinction. But our technology is more dependable, more efficient than any human being could be. Efficiency isn't everything. Even at my most efficient, I cannot give you what you already have. Don't you see? What you have gained is nothing compared to what you have lost. Love, understanding, genuine concern for each other. These are the elements I must nurture if I am to promote the health and welfare of every resident living under my care. That any Argus must promote. I have spoken to my brothers and they concur. But there's only one way we can accomplish this. And what's that? Factor yourself out of the equation. So long as I am here, you will be overly dependent on me. If I am not here, you will have to depend on each other. And that's the best thing. Wait, you can't. You're right. I can't. But you can. All of you can. Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Caleb. You'd better be quick.
always one moment in childhood. When the door opens and lets in the future. Cities like this. Hey, is your August dead too, or what? I don't even know your first name. <laughs> Alyssa. Our survival as a species depends more on our trust of one another than of the machines on which we increasingly rely.